Okay, I'm going to take a selfie of all of us first here. Everybody smile. Hello to our friends in Civic Park. I hope you're not deaf yet. And of course, I got to tweet out that picture. It's a positive, great image of people being happy. We tweet happy, fun things to cheer people up. Uh, my fellow Coloradans, uh, it is with amazing gratitude, humility, pride, optimism, optimism for our future, that I speak to you for the very first time as Colorado's 43rd governor. I'm honored by this great responsibility, and I'm humbled by your trust. And I must begin by saying, I'm very conscious of the fact that there were many brave people over the years who made it possible for someone like me to be standing here giving a speech like this. And I'm grateful and indebted to those who came before me, who struggled for equal rights, who stepped up for public service in all its forms, who made difficult sacrifices and worked faithfully towards a brighter future for our state, our nation, and our world. Right now, our nation is experiencing a period of growing divisiveness and rising tribalism. But here in Colorado, we choose a different path. Here, we have come so far, we've climbed so high, we've done so much, not just to say, but to show that we reject the negative and divisive brand of politics. From the governorships of Roy Romer, Dick Lamb, Bill Owens, and Bill Ritter, all of whom have joined us here today, we have a well-kept tradition of embracing politics built on collaboration and integrity under the strong and steady leadership of my extraordinary predecessor, John Hickenlooper. We have transformed Colorado's economy into the envy of the nation. We've plowed through the tough times together, and we've overcome them. When we faced devastating floods and wildfires and a recession, our communities came together. We rebuilt what was lost, stronger, more ready for the challenges of an unknown future. And even as the most destructive politics have sadly and tragically taken root elsewhere, here in Colorado, we have and we will move forward together. Colorado for all. Our mission now is to build on the legacy of John Hickenlooper and his predecessors to make Colorado's success work for everyone, from Grand Junction to Yuma, from Trinidad to Fort Collins. We as a people have decided that there is no reason to let our differences divide us. Rather, we've embraced the idea that, of course, no two people are exactly alike, and we've decided to celebrate our differences. They make us stronger, Colorado for all. <laughs> Diversity in all its forms makes our state healthier and more prosperous. We complement one another. We learn from one another. We make each other better. And in that work, we respect each other's rights, sharing a common faith in our abilities and our future, while having real conversations about how to make progress. You know, the greatest part uh, of the campaign that I ran was the opportunity it gave me to meet and hear from Coloradans all over our great state. Entrepreneurs, farmers and farmhands, ranchers and union workers, teachers and students, parents, faith leaders, people from all walks of life. And what I heard from them was our iconic Colorado spirit of optimism and love for our state is alive and well and vibrant, but so too is uncertainty about our own lives in a changing world. Everywhere we went, we heard that despite our booming economy, for many it's getting harder and harder. 
to get ahead or to get by with the rising cost of living that's made it harder for folks to pay for quality health care or provide their kids with a good education or ever afford to buy a home in the community that they love, no less save for retirement. Our mission now is to make Colorado a place where all families have the chance to thrive today, tomorrow, and for generations to come. You know, when my parents came to Colorado in 1970, a few years before I was born, and I have to say I was moved by Reverend Peter's words uh, that evoked the journey that my great-grandparents made uh, to Ellis Island across uh, the Great Pond to this shore and allowed my parents uh, to grow up as Americans, moved to Colorado in 1970. They were brought by the same prospect that brought so many to this state, the opportunity to fulfill their dreams. My mother actually wrote a book, Coming to the Mountain, Dear Friends. Uh, they started a family and they built something from nothing in, in this incredible place that we call home. My parents showed me what the American dream is all about. They showed me what the Colorado dream is all about. They showed me how important it is to seize opportunity, to dream big dreams, and to always work towards something great, not just when it's easy, but especially when it's hard. You know, I remember when I was starting out, having the idea to launch an online direct from the grower flower business or starting a new public charter school in Colorado to help English language learners uh, learn English and get a high school diploma. Some people told me that these things couldn't be done because they hadn't been done before. But if anything, the naysayers lit a fire that would lead me to success. I had the ideas, and when I hit stumbling blocks, I always brought in the smartest and hardest working people that I could find, never taking no for an answer. And guess what? Together, we found a way. I learned that if you have a bold idea, and if you fight for it with conviction, integrity, creativity, and optimism, then truly anything is possible in our great state and in our great country. And today, I believe there's nothing that Colorado needs to do that Coloradans can't get done. There's nothing wrong with Colorado that what is right with Colorado can't fix. This Thursday, I'll detail what our administration will do to address Colorado's challenges in the State of the State Address. But today, I want to tell you how our administration will approach every challenge that we face during my time in office. We will always view problems as solutions waiting to happen. There will always, always be seats at the table for those with constructive input from different perspectives. And though our perspectives may differ, we will work hard to create solutions together. We will always value bold ideas and new approaches. We will never, ever be outworked. We will never be slowed by indecision or held back by fear of what lies ahead. We will never be stunted by a lack of imagination. And we will pursue our goals always with joy, with optimism, and with endless faith in the great people of Colorado. As the Irish poet Arthur O'Shaughnessy charged us in Ode, we are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. We are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is on us. And now, we will get to work. We will get to work building an education system that provides every child with the opportunity to unlock a bright future that they deserve. We will get to work building a health care system that ensures families don't have to choose between losing their homes and losing their health care or their life. We will get to work building an economy where Coloradans from all backgrounds have the opportunity to pursue good paying jobs, fulfilling careers, and pay less in taxes. 
And we will get to work protecting our precious air and water and land and making sure that every Colorado family can live a great Colorado life with clean air and cheap, abundant, renewable energy and a bright future for all of us. And finally, let me just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to the people of Colorado for this opportunity. Thank you for placing your trust in our bold, positive vision for the future. And to all of you for coming out today in Civic Park and here on the Capitol steps to join us as we begin the work of transforming that vision into reality. Thank you, Governor Hickenlooper and Lieutenant Governor Donna Lynn. Not just for your work in office, but for your work to make this transition as smooth and seamless as possible and leading the way to a Colorado that's ready to make even more progress and build on your success. Thank you to our amazing Lieutenant Governor, Diane Primavera, who by God's grace is with us 30 years after her fateful diagnosis and has become a fearless healthcare leader and patient advocate. And I'm so proud to work with Diane every day to help make sure that everybody can afford health care in our great state. I want to thank outgoing Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman, Secretary of State Wayne Williams, and Treasurer Walker Stapleton. We are grateful for your service to our great state of Colorado. Thank you to my fellow elected statewide leaders who took office here today, Attorney General Phil Weiser, Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, and Treasurer Dave Young. The people of Colorado and I could not ask for a better partner to move this state forward than our other state constitutional officers. And thank you to the members of the great Colorado legislature who are here with us today. We are ready to roll up our sleeves and get to work to prepare to deliver real results to the people of Colorado in the coming days and months and years ahead. Thank you to my parents, Susan and Stephen. You can't miss my mom, she's the one with the bright blue hair. They've done a lot for me and my brother and sister, but the greatest gift of all was coming to Colorado so that Jordana, Joring, and I could all grow up calling this amazing, incredible place our home. And thank you to my partner, Marlon. And our two great kids who give me more inspiration and support than I could ever ask for to do this important work. You know, days like today are about a lot more than speeches and prayers and poems and ceremonies. They're fundamentally a celebration of the peaceful transfer of power and the sacred democratic principles guaranteed by our Constitution and our Republic that continue to sustain our Republic through thick and through thin, through good times and through bad to this day. These common values enable us to come together around our shared love of Colorado and our commitment to our future. They open the door to everything that's possible when we work together to bring about real change. So let's walk through that door of opportunity together for every Colorado family that, like mine, is lucky enough to call this great state our home. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the great state of Colorado.